Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the topography of abdomen and abdominal regions. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Talking about the abdominal regions, the abdomen is divided by two horizontal and two vertical lines into nine regions. The vertical lines pass along the lateral borders of the rectus abdominis muscles. The upper horizontal line passes through the anterior ends of 10th rib. The lower horizontal line passes through the anterior superior iliac spine. Let's have a look. In this image, these vertical lines pass along the lateral borders of the rectus abdominis muscles. This upper horizontal line passes through the anterior end of 10th rib and this lower horizontal line passes through the anterior superior iliac spine. Now, let's have a look at the regions. This region is the epigastric region. On the right is the right hypochondrium and on the left is the left hypochondrium. Coming to the middle regions. This is the mesogastric region which has the umbilicus or the umbilical region. To the right of the mesogastric region is the right lumbar region and to the left is the left lumbar region. Last are the lower regions. This is the hypogastric region. To the right is the right iliac region. And to the left is the left iliac region. This image depicts the contents present in these regions. You can take a screenshot of it. Now let's discuss about the linea alba. The epineurosis of the two oblique and transverse muscles of the abdomen meet and fuse on the midline and form the tendinous band, linea alba, between two rectus abdominis muscles. It stretches from the xiphoid process of the sternum to the pubic symphysis and almost in the middle of the linea alba is the umbilicus. Let's have a look. This line from the xiphoid process extending all the way to the pubic symphysis is the linea alba and this is the umbilicus in the middle of the linea alba. Coming to the last part that is the rectus sheath. It is formed by the aponeurosis of the three lateral abdominal muscles. It is divided into two parts, the upper and the lower part. Both the parts have anterior and posterior layers. The anterior layer in the upper part consists of the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle and the posterior layer consists of the aponeurosis of the transverse abdominus muscle. The anterior layer of the lower part consists of the aponeurosis of the external, internal oblique and the transverse abdominis muscles. And the posterior layer consists of transversal fascia only. Now let's have a look at the rectus sheath. This is the rectus sheath above the arcuate line or the upper part. As we discussed earlier, the anterior layer of the upper part is formed by the aponeurosis of the obliques and the posterior layer is formed by the transversus abdominis muscle. This is the lower part or the part below the arcuate line. The anterior layer is formed by the aponeurosis of the obliques and the transversus abdominis. And the posterior layer is formed by the transversalis fascia only. With this, we complete the topography of abdomen and the abdominal regions. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram, links in the description.